I make videos so I can document what I'm doing. Okay, good. I'm just making video because it could be just uh, didn't bleed it or something, you know, something simple. Uh, like I said, my original problem was 805 only, right? Well, now see. And you don't have any this water. It wasn't like this when they were here. It's okay. it went back to this is what my original problem Oh, right now, on, yeah, I'm locked out right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, did you see that it was a brand new switch? Like yes. from the plastic? Okay, that's good. This is the one the guy came up here from mm -hmm. John Ray originally. Okay. He reset this and hit that and turned the switch off and on. Okay, and then he kicked back on. Yeah. Okay, and but then, you, but you never see this low water showing up, right? Yes. Okay, never. Right? Only the green light. Yeah, only the green light. Okay, so that's not a problem. He just do that, that to reset. That shows up when you press the button. Yeah, because you're testing it. Okay, yeah. so yeah, so yeah. so let's see. I'm gonna open it up and see if there's just air in the heat exchanger. That's why it's still doing that. Okay, or the circulator yeah. pump is dead. Because the, the guy that came up here was from Westchester County was helping John Ray. Oh, so it's a sub. And, yeah. That's the first one. He was here last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. This happened Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday then up, Wednesday showed up. He okay. showed up, reset it. It said it should be all right. Well, no, no, it's not so just like that, yeah. Because it's Wednesday, not like a, yeah. Wednesday, I went up to take a shower, no water. <laughs> all right, that's not, that's not good trouble should just to reset. No, There's I a reason reset why, it, yeah, yeah. And I called them, and the last three days now, they're supposed to have somebody out here, and they didn't show up. They called me at the end of the day and say they got tied up, and I don't think they got anybody who knows what they're doing. I'm not... I'm not happy with this. Oh, okay, I am. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wish I had my old one back. <laughs> no, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna see what is going on inside the unit itself. Okay. I really appreciate you coming up. I know it's like almost. It's only eight o'clock. It's still yeah. early. It's still early. <laughs> All right. Let me just take care of this, and then I'll give you a follow up. Okay. I'm just gonna make a video so we can see what's going on. That way, um, if ever they have a guy that will come. But, you know, they know what they're going to do. I'll tell you what, I, I, I've been dealing with John Ray for probably yeah. 12, 15 years. Okay. And I'm, I'm, tomorrow I'm giving the, the office a call and I'm going to talk to a manager. This is bullshit. The, All right. the, the service I got from him since this. All right. But you have no issues with the install, correct? No, 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 it's, no. It's no, the boiler no, itself. No, nothing with you. Okay. No, no, no. No. Okay. No, but no, I, no, but no, even no. though it didn't do like a really good service i'm still gonna try to help okay I we want to get you going we're gonna get it corrected okay that's why i'm here it's I mean, if they it, didn't have any why didn't they just tell you to come up to begin with that's what gets me you know why yeah. jerk me around for since last third last tuesday till now yeah because this thing here is not in the install issues from the boiler so it has to be their service yeah. stack but since their service stack showed up and was not able to take care of it then i have to step in okay but you know at least you still have me yeah the first guy came out he they told him it was a my ore boiler a what uh the old boiler the oh. old ore one i had the guy come out and he goes i don't know anything about these <laughs> Yeah, I know. He said, I'm an oil man. I know. They just go with this old oil boiler. But, all right, let me just give me maybe five, ten minutes. No, we should be able to see what's to... going on, okay? But okay. for me, because they just replaced a brand new flow switch, what I need to confirm is if they put it in the correct direction, it has to be going straight in line with the flow. Because if it gets crooked, then it's not going to do any good. So that's what I'm going to confirm. And then make sure that there's no more air in the heat exchanger. Because when there's air in the heat exchanger, that circulator is not going to let the water yeah. circulate. Well, the when they were here... After they were done, it, did they uh, use the hose and bleed it? Did they? They drained water out of here to relieve the pressure before they changed the switch. But after that, they didn't. Do they didn't do that. Did you see them? All right, I must show I, you this I, one. That there's did, a hose. I didn't see it. Were you here the whole time? Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm gonna show you what the bleeder looks like. Okay. Because every time you now do you any service, I remember you putting a hose in the bleeder. That's oh. the one. That's the trick. Every time you, you take out any water, the air gets in the system. When you finish fixing anything, the air goes to the top. And yeah. you have to let that air out, okay? So that's the simple thing that they could have they done. Had, they had shut off. See that, that, see that hose wrapping up top? That's the one. Did you yeah. never touch that? 
Not that I see. Okay, so let's do that first thing and then turn on your thermostat, they, okay? They uh, they turned off every valve. Yes. Now that's that's not gonna do anything to the system. No, but I'm just saying it. That's they, what they did. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. All right, let me just do that right now. So look at somebody's buzzing this stuff. There's uh, what's that noise? Or your alarm clock? Oh, that's my clock, chime clock. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's okay. Will you be my helper? Yeah. Making my video, don't turn off. <laughs> okay. okay. I know, look at you, my helper is my customer. <laughs> all right, let's see. If there's a lot of air, then that's the problem, okay? Let me do this. There's not much. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is turn on your thermostat. I'll hold this. Because this we're gonna take off. Would you turn on the thermostat? I just wanna make sure that it's gonna bring it up, yeah. Maybe 80 degrees or something like that. So I reset that it was in lockout. It's very cold. And then, wow, oh boy. Hold on, Ray. I see what's the problem. It's not the air. Ray? Yeah. It's not the air. I see the problem. Didn't I put the sensor the right way? Oh. It has to be straight up. It has to be straight up. Remember, it's a little off this Yeah, line. it's not. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Some full things. That's okay. At least we see it. I'll show you what it is, okay? Sometimes service tech that are new needs to be trained. But why would... <clears throat> Hmm? How would me doing resetting this change that? No, this is just to shut off the code. That's all it is. Oh, okay. That's just to shut off the code. But see, look, see how that is. That's yeah. not what the way it is before. See. Yeah. So there is a a plop in there. So the plop is now going that way. The this this right here has to be up. This wire is yeah, supposed to like be down. Yeah, little paddle sticking out. Of yes. So hopefully they took picture before they did anything. But that's crooked. Yeah. So even the flow water goes that way, it's not gonna trigger that thing up. Okay, so that's the thing. So it's not even the air. That's why we didn't see any air coming out. But the position of that, okay? Yeah. Okay, so now brand new switch is just crooked. Okay, so I'm gonna post the video just because I can't do a video while doing the work, okay? All right. Okay, that's all we did is just we corrected the flow of the flow switch because that was the issue. Okay, and then if you look at the book, I mean, book tells you everything. You don't have to be smart. The book will tell you. See right there? Flow direction. Okay, it has to go downwards. Okay, because it comes from, from the pump. It goes up. It goes to heat exchanger, heated it up with the flame and comes out downwards and flow go down, not go up and crooked, okay? flow go down. That's why when it goes out here, this is the supply. That's how you know it, okay? And then goes out to the house. So let's see, that's that up. I'm not gonna post this because I already hooked that up. Make sure this one is plugged in, okay? Um, that's plug in, that's plug in, okay? Let's put back in now I gotta close this okay fill this up make sure there's no leak inside of it not yet I'm gonna observe if there's a leak because if there's a leak then I have to do it again so okay pressure is no, no, about no. 14 uh, psi i noticed when like say like you you got the faucet running mm -hmm. and you you cut the water down you don't want a whole lot coming out and you start mixing the hot and cold you lose the hot yeah because there's a flow sensor in it also it needs at least 0.6 gallons per minute for the flow switch to, to, to ignite so you want to if it's too hot for you just lower down the temperature here and that way you don't have to mix with All the right. cold All right. okay that and something else. what else All right, let's just take this one running and then you ask me more and that way i'm focused on the issue right okay. now okay all right so i don't want to be rude but i no. want to 
Yeah, we can you. focus on the issue and then any extra question is a hundred per question. <laughs> <It's joke. laughs> okay, so we got that filled up. Pressure's good. Okay. And then triple check, no leak. Now we can open it up because there's no more leak. So one, two, and then three and four. Okay, so that's open, open open everything's open so there could be a little air that got in the system because i adjusted that so what i do maybe you help me is i'm gonna bleed it out if there's any because sometimes air will just sneak in but if no air then that's fine okay that looks good so we're gonna turn on your we're gonna turn on the the power and then turn on the thermostat and then go from there okay, okay. it would never gonna trigger the way it was hooked up because the sensor was crooked yeah, so it's actually worse than the original one yeah that's what i, that's what I said to the guy i'm worse off now than i was before. yeah because it's just crooked you can't even reset because it's not gonna kick on at all yeah. all right, go all right. yep turn. both of them to make sure that both will getting hot It's a 12 minute video now. I'm just gonna post it till it's running. Just doing a calibration right now. But it takes like about 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes, um, two minutes. And then once it's done with the, uh, like it's airing it out and stuff like that, then it will start turning out. Well, they, they put the switch in and it's like, so, well, I should do it. Whoa, wait a minute. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, he would be already left without no, no, testing no, no, it? No, 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 leave. They were, they were like ready to leave us. No, let's try shit here first. Wow. <laughs> let's check it first. Okay. So right now, calling for that circulator. Yeah, what is that? See right now? This thing here. Huh? That's the, see, firing up now. See that firing up? Yeah, but this other That's thing. right, that's the radiator. Oh. So it means your thermostat me, is calling for heat. He said you got an external thermostat somewhere? Else. No, this the one on the top, that means you're using an outdoor sensor. Yeah, that's what it was, he said. Yeah, so you're using an outdoor sensor. So what happened is, when it's not so cold outside, it's just going to go up to 140, 130, and stuff like that. When it's really cold, I think I program it about maybe zero or something like that. Mm -hmm. It goes to the maximum temperature, so you feel 180 degrees. That's how you yeah. get the efficiency from it. Yeah, it's called an outdoor reset core. He said you must have a problem with your outside sensor. I said no, there is no, no outside no, sensor. No, no. It, there is outdoor, sen outdoor sensor, but it's not a thermostat. Yeah. It's a sensor. So we see, we fire up, temperature yeah. goes up. Just let them know. Make sure the guys know about this because they might be going to a next house and it's bad that they're going to have the same problem, you know? But like I said, uh, nothing against them. It just, they didn't know what they were doing. Just request, request, just yeah. request. I mean, I don't care coming here as long as I get paid because that's why we work. Well, we get I, paid. All right? I wouldn't let you come here. For, I wouldn't want you to come here for nothing anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. We'll just explain to them. I will explain to them and then you just back up. Right. Oh, just tell them yeah, because you're money. under warranty. Yeah. You're under warranty, you know. So but I, so I said to the guy, I said, I just paid $15,000 and <laughs> he put it in June and I got a problem already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, this is just the parts is defect. Yeah. The parts has the defect. So when they left, did you see the flame coming on at all? No. No, right? And they just left. Yeah, because they said they called Matt. Uh, they were not able to fire it up, and so Matt, they just... Yeah, and Matt said he was going to call you, this dispatcher there, their boss. So they were not able to fix it, and then they yeah. just left. So he said, I'll call... He said he was going to call you. Nobody called me, but that's okay. It's, it's probably just... All right, so you got heat. Now you test your hot water. 
Because the hot water is supposed to be priority. What happened is the the faucet sensor will gonna kick on. Yeah. Right. You do that before I close up yeah. everything. But I, uh, like I said, when they when he called and they said they were gonna call you, then the guys said, well, then Tommy's coming. Well, you know, there's no sense us staying here. Okay. All right. All right. So they were not able to turn it on and they just leave. Okay. All right, guys, that's the problem. That was the issue. The flow sensor was bad. They changed it with a new one, but it was crooked upside down. So there was no way to turn it on because they did never hook it up right. But you know what? They just need to be trained. They just don't know what it is for and stuff like that. And as he said, they never opened the book. You can't really put things up if you don't know what it is. Okay, so see, that's now on the... On the, heat, uh, the domestic or the shower side, if you press something, it would light up. Yeah. You know, not just say menu. See, it actually shows there how much the yeah. garden for flow. And that's see, it. see that? See? So this is always the priority, the hot water. So if you're taking a shower, you're not going to wait for it. I why, because hmm? well, this is lit up, and then that comes on. Yeah, it will go out. Yeah. Priority is the shower. You don't want to break your shower, get cold yeah. water. All right, I'm going to turn the water back on. Yep. Feel it first if it's hot. It probably takes 30 seconds for it to warm up, you know? Because that, that's that what... The next thing I wanted to ask you... Yeah. It takes a real long time... For the farthest one. Warm yeah. water. Yeah, because you have to dump all the coldness from the pipe. Yeah, then, that's... once you have the hot water, I'm it stays... I'm not used to that. I'm used to... <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes it's like a give and take, you know? Yeah. All right. So, again, I'm going to show you my face so you know who I am. Right there. Okay, so anybody that just see my videos, that's how you fix it, okay? Alta Burnham Company, or Boiler Company, U.S. Boiler Company. And the model number for this, so for everyone knows, is that guy. Okay, so it's a wrap. Peace.